There's one more kind of setting we can talk about when we talk about the lights, and it's in addition to basically the, basically the artificial lights we have in Corona, but this kind of standard we're talking about here is true also for a lot of other render engines. And the standard is called IES, and what IES stands for is, uh, it stands for Illuminating Engineering Society. And what they defined is basically a light profile, uh, an IES profile. Uh, it's a file we can load into our render engine or rather into our light source. And it will define the kind of light shape the or light design a certain light um, throws onto the wall or onto a surface. Um, it's very often used in interior lighting and basically every light uh, manufacturer have those kind of IES profiles on their website or <clears throat> uh, you can you can get them uh, at different distributors and it's a very good way to get specific realistic light shapes in your scene. So I don't, don't want to skip to exercises. I wanted to skip to Cinema 4D. So I have a simple setup here. Again, we're in this kind of interior room. I have a simple area light here on the top. And as, as you can see, if I render this, we have this kind of default spherical uh, distribution of light. So if you come to your Corona light and scroll to the bottom, you can find the IES setting and you can activate this. And then you can see that the light distribution design changes pretty much and yeah this is just like a file i loaded here into this kind of input field and then you have to activate the checkbox to make it active and you can also find those kind of ies profiles in the assets uh, manager from cinema 4d so there are two different ones i think there is um, axel meiselicht which has a lot of different profiles. So you can just basically drag and drop those into that. And then you have this kind of different profile um, on your rendering. So yeah, it's sometimes there are also different kind of lamps or lights. As you can see, they're even more different than the ones before. Um, so different lamps have different profiles and you can use those profiles to mimic different wall lights. It's mostly used for, for wall lights, I guess. Um, yeah, so that's just a quick addition to setting up your lights. So if you're doing interior renderings and you want to make your lights appear a little bit more realistic, then you can add an IES profile to your light.